Welcome in along with Mike Renner. I'm Steve Palazzolo and this is your Tennessee Titans NFL Draft Recap all powered by PFF Edge and Elite. Mike, this is one of our favorite drafts when you look at what the Titans did as far as adding value. I mean, six players that can all really compete for playing time, at least the top four, with starting potential. It all started with Jeffrey Simmons at 19 overall. Yeah, all six players they drafted, we actually had higher on our draft board than the selection number that they went. So good value with Very every nice. single pick. Jeffrey Simmons, obvious reasons why he fell with the ACL injury, but a top 10 player when healthy. So you think if he comes back, you're making a stretch around the playoffs and he's back for the end of the season, it's well worth getting a top 10 pick on your roster there at 19. And then we loved A.J. Brown at 51. Think he could be, in my opinion, that has the best chance of being a true number one type of receiver for your offense. And they already have a guy in Corey Davis who's a very solid possession receiver. A.J. Bryant has a little more dynamicism after the catch. Yeah, if you think that uh, Simmons may be behind Quinn and Williams, the best combination of run stopping and pass rushing on the defensive interior. And then with A.J. Brown, the ability to win outside, win in the slot with body control, yards after the catch. Like the way that receiving core is coming together with A.J. Brown added there. Then you had third rounder Nate Davis, one of our favorite players to watch, coming out of Charlotte. You know, he actually has starting potential too in the Titans offensive line, which was really good a couple years ago. Needs a little bit of help, and stealing a potential starter in the third is just great value. Yeah, we loved Nate Davis. We think he has all the tools to be a starting guard in the NFL. We played tackle at Charlotte some, played guard at Charlotte some, and he's a little raw technically in terms of his technique. But I, I think a little seasoning at the NFL level, you could have a possibility of getting a good one here. And then when you look at fourth rounder, Amani Hooker out of Iowa, one of our favorite players, we had uh, round two grade on him. Like, like we did some other safeties, his ability to play two high coverages, play over the slot, excellent feel for his zone. So I, you know, we thought he was going to go much earlier because he can make an immediate impact in sub packages. Yeah, I think he could be their box safety there uh, for the Titans. I'm very surprised he fell to where he did. Now he lacks some length, but he has great size at 210 pounds and tested out like an elite athlete at the Combine. Shows up on tape, had a 92.7 coverage grade over the past two seasons, one of the best in all of college football. Highest grade in the slot over the last couple of years, so a lot to like about Hooker. And then even DeAndre Walker in the fifth round as an edge defender at Georgia, there were times where he looked better than Lorenzo Carter, his yeah. teammate who went in the third round last year to the New York Giants. So he's pretty efficient off the edge. And David Long from West Virginia. Again, guys that can at least contribute on day three. That's a lot a lot of very good value that the Titans have added here. Yeah, Long's a freak athlete. Long is very explosive. He just misses a ton of tackles. I think he yeah. led the nation in missed tackles this past season. If you can sort of reel him in just a little bit, you get an explosive linebacker and cover a lot of ground there for the Titans. So there you have it. We gave them the excellent overall grade, the Tennessee Titans NFL Draft Recap. It's all been brought to you by PFF Edge and Elite.